Hi guys, my name is Shania, and right now I'm headed to the gym, but I have a lot to talk to y'all. I know I have a really bad habit of starting videos inside of the car. So, um, I'm just gonna let y'all know how like this video is gonna go. Very grateful for everybody that has DM'd me, messaged me, um, commented, and just talked about like Zoom calls with me. I've had a lot of different types of people reach out to me throughout this whole entire time and it's very very comforting um y'all don't know how much like it means to me so thank you but um i'm gonna show y'all a couple clips from monday the 28th which is my doctor's appointment and i'm gonna try and call them and ask if i can film a little bit of everything went to work today as y'all saw um i thought i seen someone very familiar for some reason but i guess i guess it wasn't them because why would they come all the way over here i'm gonna film myself going to the doctor going to school a little vlog and hopefully i can have a little bit of film to talk about and let hopefully they let me film so hey guys it's the morning of monday the 28th and this has been a long process i'm running late for school my this gonna look so bad but um well, i was going to wear this really cute outfit so even though i was late i looked decently okay sun's not blessing me either I like taking my time and walking and looking at the trees and all this different nature stuff they're gonna pick me up and take me to my doctor's which is like a 15 minute drive away mind you I told you we have to be there like five minutes before ten minutes before the appointment starts so this is all stressful because the whole process, the whole like doctor's appointment takes about maybe 20 to 30 minutes. The initial start okay. for school is 8.20 and if you get here around like 8.30, that means you're late. Um, I, one, don't have a car, so the car that y'all see me driving around in is my mommy's, but I paid insurance for that, and some other stuff. Oh my god, imagine going to school in, like, Florida, and where they have to, like, walk in this heat. Oh my god, I cannot speak. I'm, like, out of breath. The first day of school was kind of, like scary because one I saw people I didn't want to see two saw people I didn't want to see three there was a lot of people that I just did not want to see and it was very nerve-wracking because every corner that you turn it was like they were there it was scary like hoes don't know how to stay in one spot <laughs> Original appointment reason was to get checked 
signed up for the HSB to see how I've been doing and how my birth control has been helping out with that. in my mom's car she doesn't like being on camera so i'm not gonna show her but now we have arrived at the clinic where i'm gonna get checked out oh, i want to go inside but anyways mom explain to them what we are doing lay down like an actual sopa look at all the sopita no quiero del el camarón es como shrimp rice rice oh really Ew. and about if i've had any outbreaks lately or anything like that La fecha. they're also gonna ask me about my period cycles and my emotional Distress. mental disability. Wow. This is gonna be fun. I already, I can already tell I'm gonna cry. I'm crying right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I was over here like crying and depressed and all. Ooh. But now. I keep looking over here, but I'm supposed to be looking right here. But anyways, this video is gonna be so crappy if I don't get to film I have inside. Something in my so right now I'm taking a urine test. I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm taking a urine test. So I just got back from doing the P test or P urine urination crap. I feel literally about to die, but um the lady told me I wasn't allowed to film her or anybody else and nothing like very documental so like no Nothing that's very like important, important, you know. <sighs> My mom's in the car. She's waiting for me. She kept on falling asleep. Warning. The following content will contain blood and may or may not be suitable for children. Viewer's discretion is advised. Keep your arm real straight, okay? Big stick. So I just finished getting a blood drawn. I finished the checkup. We're about to go eat. And now I'm just getting my papers for school and work. Okay, so hey guys, it's me again. And currently it's October the 2nd. I know I said I was going to talk a whole long time ago. But I've been failing my classes, not going to school, being a bad kid that I shouldn't be. What I've been wanting to talk to y'all was about the previous video I had made and all the like good feelings that y'all have been giving me and the amazing opportunities that have opened up for me from opening up myself to the world. So as y'all know, my last video had to do with me having HSV or herpes if y'all don't know what that means for new people um so i'm just gonna recap of what happened 
in that first video i can link it up here if y'all like or up here so basically what had happened was i was with my first relationship with this guy and he didn't really tell me anything about his sexual past i guess and um he ended up giving me hsv or herpes and i went through a whole bunch of depression i went through a lot of anxiety i went through a lot of self-hate and self-loathing i guess you could say uh, i wasn't eating a lot i was very unhealthy in my opinion and in other people's opinions um and that's basic basically that's basically like what it is it's so bright out here so if i look ugh, that's why i'm facing a car and it's the reflection it's, just, it's terrible but um basically that's what happened um so now i've had herpes or hsv for about four four months five months about to be five months and it's been a roller coaster i know a lot of people have asked me dm me commented about how have i been how have I been keeping up with my body? How have I been like emotionally, mentally, physically, um, just things like that. And honestly, I can tell you that I am doing way better. I feel way better. And now I can openly speak about having herpes. Like, I feel like if anyone were to ask me, like genuinely ask me how I am doing and if they knew or if they didn't know and they just asked me, I would be okay with answering it. I wouldn't break down. I wouldn't do, you know, the things I would have done a couple months ago, which would be break down. I wouldn't be able to talk about it. I just feel really bad. But now that I've openly spoken and I've openly spoke to many different people, I feel way better. So recently throughout the DMs on Instagram, I have been receiving many like people saying, thank you for making the video. And y'all don't know how much that means to me a lot for even the video to be recognized by everyone, you know? Um, there was a lot of words of encouragement and a lot of just, love i guess um and it was very like reassuring that whatever i may be going through at the moment or in the moment i'm gonna get through because if i don't have the support from someone i desperately need then i'll have the support of others and that's okay with me i got a few questions of people asking me how to take care of my body and how I like, I guess, oh, this is so bright. Oh, I feel like I'm burning my eyes. I've gotten a couple questions about how I take care of my body and how I deal with outbreaks so people can um, take care of themselves. And personally, I'm not a doctor obviously and i'm going through the exact same things as y'all are but i haven't gotten as many outbreaks as y'all might have had you know like i'm still trying to figure out how many times i get an outbreak throughout a year how many times i get an outbreak throughout the month how many outbreaks i get in general when do they come when do they usually come how long it takes for them to go away or dry out and honestly since the first outbreak i think i've maybe had two and i think i'm going through one right now possibly and i'm still trying to figure that out but it's very hard to there's mosquitoes biting me i'm still trying to figure out um what my pattern is and how i can deal with that i know a lot of people have asked me um, what kind of medication I was taking or what kind of medication I am taking currently and the only medication I'm taking right now is for birth control I I believe it's actually helping me um, but that's just me I've been taking birth control since um, 
the start of my outbreaks since yeah since the start of my outbreaks i'll do a whole little section for birth control in a different video yeah the birth control i feel like has been helping me with some of, of the outbreaks but birth control also has its own side effects so that will be in a different video like i said the type of medication i was taking i do not remember all i remember was that it was given to me by my doctor it wasn't anything over the counter and i wouldn't really trust anything over the counter if you believe that you have um hsv or anything like that all i remember was that it was a blue capsule it was like the size of a smaller than a pea it was flat and i would take that every day for the for a week and basically what it just helped with was the healing process it didn't really um make sure that i was going to be cured you know like there's no cure for hsv or herpes y'all have asked me what i've been doing for coping and recently for the past two months and a half i've been working out um not a lot of people have noticed just because i don't really tell anybody but i have been posting on my instagram and i po posted a little collage and a whole book in the description about what working out means for me and what it has done for myself mentally and physically and so if you want to do that i'll link that as well in the description so i've been working out i've also been i don't know i've gotten into this state where like i need to build myself up i need to get my mind straight and i feel like every single time when a guy breaks your heart you gotta like up one yourself you know like you gotta be better you gotta do better you gotta get your shit together so i feel like working out for me has done that working almost every day so i could buy myself a car and every single day i always have to pay for some type of bill that always comes up i was literally like a ne negative a hundred something dollars because of some weird ass reason and then i got charged again after i was already like i paid it off and a lot of stuff just shows up but i feel like all of these obstacles are are minor eight healthier i've gained a little bit of weight i've worked out almost every single day literally i go to the gym every single day um and basically i've just been on top of everything I feel like for my coping it's up wanting myself and wanting to be better wanting to be a better person for myself my family and just be a better person i've been way happier i've been feeling way better about myself about my surroundings and even up until this day every single time when i see that bum ass stupid ass white hoeing ass bitch every day i don't get mad because i have forgiven 50 percent forgiven him for anyways i have forgiven him for you know transfer transmitting me a whole ass disease that can't be cured you know that's cool but yeah i have forgiven him i have forgotten him too and every single time anybody mentions his name i'm like who i don't know who he is like i could get care less you know like whatever he's doing is what he's doing whatever he whoever he wants to infect i'm sorry i'm sorry but that's his problem not mine so troconas gmc ram Troconitas. What else? Oh, I want to talk to y'all about the opportunities that have opened up to me, the types of people that have reached out to me, and what it has meant to me and what has been happening. So, I was talking to a guy, I really liked him. He was pretty interesting, you know, came in through the DMs. And he was like, I'm this, this, that. And I was like, oh, okay that's cool and this part of the video is kind of an apology so if you see this i'm actually really sorry because i didn't mean to do that but i'm sorry for 
attacking you in a way I didn't mean to and accusing you of some stuff that I won't mention. And I didn't mean to do that. I was just interested in you to the point where your name was visible to the world, you know? And I wanted to get to know you the way the world knows you. I don't care if you're what you are. I just wanted to know for myself, what else are you? I've been told that I saved two different people's lives from the previous video I had posted and it made me so overwhelmed. Like, Thinking about saving anybody's life is such a big deal to me. And it was very like, it was really like hard and stressful. So that was the first person. The second person, I'm not gonna um, talk about them, but thank you for watching my video. I'm always here. I try to always answer my DMs, my text messages, my comments, and just anything in general. I really do try, but like I said, I'm a normal kid just like y'all. I'm a normal person, just like you you guys, I'm human. Please don't be mad if I don't answer quickly. I will be having Zoom conference meetings, and I believe I'll be doing them every two weeks Friday around 4 o'clock. It has been a very, 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 very long journey for me. I have gone through so many ups and downs. I have gone through so many, like... <gasps> but um, I'm gonna start doing online school so if anyone really does need to talk to somebody just um, DM me on Instagram speaking of when you'd like to go on the call around what time and we could schedule an appointment okay thank you for watching my video guys I'm so exhausted I think I'm about to go to sleep I just came from school maybe like 30 minutes ago to do this video and I have so much homework to do by the end of today so if y'all really like this video go ahead and thumbs up share it with everybody who you think might need it honestly this video and my previous video could save lives it could help someone so if it did help you let me know comment down below share like and subscribe thank you guys